Shalom, Kahala, Yahweh, Bashem, Yashai, Bashem, Rukal, Pradash. Double honors by teachers, the apostles, and elders of the Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect, who are the house of David will be born again in this generation. And Shalom to the one third Yasharala, who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, who before losing our true heritage, we were known as, and still are, the true Hebrew Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about the uh, dragon and his angels spoken about in Revelations, right? And how they basically tie to these uh, secret aircraft that Esau and the Edomites, uh, and when I say that name, I'm talking about the biblical name of the Caucasian race, right? Which, like I said, the, the secret uh, military aircraft that they have waiting for these end day wars against God, okay? But before we get into this, Let's go ahead and read the scripture first. This is Revelations 12 and 7. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels. Okay. So this right here is talking about the vision that John the Revelator seen. Right. Of the end time war between uh, humanity. Namely. The, those in power today, known as the Edomites, the, the so-called Caucasian race, right, who ultimately would be referred to as the dragon, right? That's the uh, old serpent, uh, you know, that was back in the uh, in the Garden of Eden, okay? And again, just to clarify, that serpent wasn't a talking snake. It was literally the progenitors of today's uh, modern-day Caucasians, okay? Well, that little snake has since grown into a dragon, Okay, and that dragon is going to fight against God upon the, the, the Messiah's second coming. Okay, and that's what this is referring to, right? And when it says his angels, right, talking about the dragon's angels, it's talking about uh, weaponry like this, right? Things that which the general public has no idea that it exists, right? We have inklings and we have suspicions, and there is, you know, leaked video here and there, which we're gonna, I'm gonna show you some of them. Right, but I just want to you know bring this out because one thing is 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 now that the Lord is sending more of the angels to earth to basically to to kind of just gauge what's going on and to keep an eye on things, right? Because it tells you in the in the in, in the Bible that there's going to start becoming more that when the Lord begins to visit the earth, you're going to start seeing a lot more prophecies come to pass, and that also we're going to start seeing more uh, sightings of chariots. Okay, that being said, just like we're going to be seeing more sightings of chariots, Esau is going to have to start to uh, account for that, right? And we've already been seeing that. We've been seeing uh, the, the U.S. government along with all the other governments of the world, which are, you know, for the most part led by these Edomites, now trying to, to uh, hijack that narrative and control it and, uh, and, and bring forth their explanation, which the world refers to as disclosure, okay? The disclosure that they're going to bring to the world to explain what these so-called UFOs or UAVs are is, is going to be a total lie. Right? They're going to they're going to lie to the world and explain to them that it's a a, a bunch of you know out of the you know um, these outer um, space beings, right? So-called aliens, which really are just demons that these Edomites are in collusion with, who have, they've been working with. To obtain their power through their witchcraft and worship, and now this is the uh, the trick that the grand deception, I should say, that's going to come upon uh, the whole earth, right? And these devils, they've made this special these special aircrafts, okay? And again, I I say it all the time, but again, if you haven't heard it, I just want to make it known that if you're not, you know, that the government. And when I when I say the government, I'm talking about the world government, right? The the kings of Edom, right? The the true rulers of this world, which would be more akin to the UN and 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 the, the world bankers, right? And that secret cabal, which really isn't even a, a government. They're an unelected, uh, you know, um, self-appointed, uh, you know, governorship, which ultimately goes back to the blood bloodline of Edomites, okay? Because again, these are the descendants of the uh, of uh, Esau, right? Uh, Jacob's evil twin twin brother. Okay, 
and that would be your modern day Caucasian Caucasians. Now again, these people, they have uh, suppressed technology, right? They've they've hidden information, and they've used it to their advantage, right? With you know being able to come out with weaponry like this, right? Uh, a popular recent example of this is when they went out and supposedly took down Osama bin Laden, right? There was that air that helicopter that crashed that when they uh, when the uh, Taliban took pictures of the of the charred tail section of it, it was like an unidentifiable uh, aircraft, you know, tail uh, helicopter tail. Why? Because it was a secret uh, secret uh, aircraft that was used. Okay, and this is and that was just you know, and that aircraft was probably out for maybe like 20, 20 30 years already. Okay, because everything that we're being shown now, right, that gets released into the public has already been in service for multiple decades, right? And these videos, these triangles here, right, which is what I'm going to show you, uh, they're being developed now, and they're going to be used in this upcoming World War III, um, you know, uh, fight, which ultimately is going to be, uh, you know, fought against the nations, against each other, but ultimately it's going to pivot uh, to fight against the Lord, and these devils know it, they know that once they gather, that the Lord will show up, and they believe that they're going to be able to fight against the Lord, which is why they're setting up all this Technology. This is where all the the black uh, black uh, budget goes to, right? To do things like build these secret uh, weapons, right? Build the the underground uh, cities that you see all over the uh, the 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 world for the most part. But ultimately, we're focusing on these. So let's watch it real quick. is from a military.com these objects here they're referred to as the TR-3B anti-gravity spacecraft and they've been basically spotted around the world so um, the video you just seen I think it was uh, in Mexico that that was spotted but let's read it real quick it says it doesn't exist officially it uses highly pressurized mercury accelerated by nuclear energy to produce a plasma that creates a field of anti-gravity around the ship uh, conventional thrusters located at the tips of the craft allow it to perform all maneuvers of rapid high-speed maneuvers along all three ax axes. Increasingly, the plasma generated also reduces radar signature significantly, so it's it'll be almost invisible on radar and remains undetected. This literally means that it can go to any country it likes without being detected by air traffic control and air defense systems so you see there's a bit of information about this and uh, along with that there's uh, this other video 
with his insider came out and spoke about it. Let's watch this now. But Edgar Fouché's credentials as an Air Force avionics specialist do qualify him with the exact sort of background to have been assigned to Area 51. I was there to repair and do a couple of modifications. And I went up uh, every day at 4.30 in the morning before sunlight, came back every night after dark, and did this for 10 days straight. There are rumors that the Aurora Project is responsible for many UFO sightings in the vicinity of Area 51. Ball-shaped craft and strange hovering lights. There are those who believe that Aurora has produced a revolutionary breakthrough in advanced technology. Edgar Fouché thinks he knows what it is. To me, the most fascinating vehicle from the Aurora program has been the TR-3B. It's a triangular-shaped vehicle. It uses a circular accelerator, as you imagine a circle within a triangle, that rotates a mercury-based plasma at 60,000 revolutions per minute, pressurized at 250,000 atmospheres, and supercooled to 150 degrees Kelvin. I absolutely believe that all the triangular-shaped vehicles that have been spotted are belong to the U.S. government. The only thing that could outmaneuver a TR-3B would be the things we copied it from, which would be alien vehicles. There is no evidence that his TR-3B aircraft exists. Except that in recent years, unidentified triangular craft with a pulsating light in the center have been seen in various locations around the world. You have my word, whatever it's worth, that I trust my friends, I believe what I've seen, what they've seen and told me. And I believe this technology exists, I'm absolutely convinced. Fact or fiction? Can black projects such as Aurora and its predecessors be the answer to what pilots and others have been seeing around the world over the past 50 years? And besides that, you have uh, this right here, right? This is a, a patent which basically describes the, uh, the TR-3B uh, vehicle, right? It tells you here, it says a spacecraft having a triangular hull with vertical electrostatic line charges on each corner that produce a horizontal electrical electric field parallel to the sides of the hull. This field interacting with a plane wave emitted by antennas on the side of the hull generates uh, a force per volume combining both lift and propulsion. And the reason why I'm getting into all these details is not because I'm, you know, I want to try to show off Esau's technology is because I want to make sure that you all came out there are aware of this. So when these devils do come out with this information, you don't get all, you know, that you have that knowledge that the, this is technology that these devils have, right? You, you know, the, the vast majority of the, of the society, when they see these planes come out, they're going to, they're going to lose it. Okay. They're going to, they're going to believe that, you know, a whole new world is starting and they're going to be fooled by Esau's trick. Okay. And why is that? Well, because, again, uh, when you get into uh, uh, Esau's technology, like I said, they're about, uh, they're about um, 40 to 100 years ahead of the standard, uh, you know, society, okay? They, they hide this uh, free technology and all these other technologies that could benefit the world, that could have the world live in peace and pros prosperity, but what, what does the devil do when he has power? Well, it, it's exactly what you're seeing happen upon the earth today, right? Evil is being called good. Good is, is called evil, right? The, the, the wicked are uplifted and the righteous are downtrodden, right? And this, is, and this is what the Bible says exactly what would happen. And this is the results of allowing the, the wicked to rule upon the, on, on the earth, okay? Not stamping it out, right? Just like uh, when... When uh, King Saul was given that command to put out all the Amalekites, which again, if you're unaware of what the Amalekites are, 
those would be your so-called Jews today. Okay, that's what they were. That's their biblical name. Uh, you know, uh, and that being that they are the top tribe of Edom, right? See, see, uh, Saul, King Saul was commanded to kill all of them off, right? To to put them all to death. But what did he do? He he let some of them go, including the king, right? Uh, Agag, and, and uh, but see, this shows you what happens when you're when you're when you don't listen to the commandments that the Lord sets, right? There's a reason behind all, all you know, everything that, that the Lord requires of us, right? From the laws, the commandments that are given to us, right? To the things that are written in the Bible. Well, see this now, you're, you're, we're, we're living the results of allowing that wickedness to, to uh, prevail upon earth, okay? You have things like this, artificial gravity, machines, and spacecraft that are, uh, are basically now being suppressed and hidden from humanity when this could end wars it could it could change the whole way of life and don't just take my word for it right uh the show redacted uh they actually come out and they they expose this right clay morris exposes that the u.s patent offices have uh have laws in place to stop any patents that could come out that would stop any free energy type devices including anti-gravitational, but let's watch it real quick. The U.S. Patent Office had a secret program that could prevent inventions that were flagged from ever being granted a patent. It was called the Sensitive Application Warning System, referred to as SAWS. Most people don't know about this program that began in 1994 because it was intended to be kept secret. However, the program was revealed to the public through a leaked internal memo that was sent to a U.S. Patent Office manager that instructed them to remind their case examiners of the SAWS program guidelines. This program was designed to bring their attention to, quote, subject matter of a special interest. So which categories were threatening enough that they made it into this special list? Well, let's take a look at the leaked memo to find out. This is proof that the government is silencing and suppressing free energy. It's right here in their documents. Think about it. There, and this is where I want to stop it. So, uh, Clayton Morris goes into basically free energy, right? That's the the topic number four here, right? The topic of this uh, documentary, which if you haven't seen it, you, I really recommend watching it. It's it's crazy. It goes into how the government came in and took up all Tesla's uh, Nikola Tesla's inventions and patents after he died, and and ultimately they're using it now, but. Excuse me. That being said, I stopped it here because I want you to look at number two, anti-gravity devices, right? The mere fact that the U.S. Patent Office is is has a has a has a category to stop any inventions coming in to to stop anything that could come in that could produce anti-gravity, right? Shows that there is that technology out there, right? And again, if if you all have been out, you've seen how frequencies are you can be used to levitate things and all that type of stuff so these devils they have this technology right but it's all hidden and it's kept for for their purposes because again why because these are the devils that the bible speaks of right they they are only interested in helping themselves and not humanity okay this is a uh, second corinthians 11 and 14 and no marvel for satan himself is transformed into an angel of light you see because these devils they're going to come in and they're going to pretend to be uh, the, the, the angels, right? But they're going to call themselves the, the, the uh, you know, aliens. And they're more likely going to do the exact same uh, plot as was in Independence Day 4, where they're going to try to come and be like, oh, we're the good aliens, but, you know, we got to watch, you know, we're here to warn you about the bad aliens to come in, right? And they're going to be talking about the Messiah, right? And the Lord who are returning, okay? That's the that's the truth of the matter. Right? See, these devils, uh, they've been planning this for a very long time, so long that it's already been leaked out to the public, and it's referred to as Project Blue Beam. And again, I've I've done a video about this along with other brothers, and there's just thousands of videos about Project Blue Beam. If you're interested in it, just go online. Uh, I recommend going to uh, over to uh, BitChute because you'll be able to find more uh, truthful and uncensored uh, videos over there. Um, but again, back to this point, 
again, these devils are going to come through and they're going to pretend to be the angels, right? But they're going to call themselves, the, you know, the aliens, and they're going to say that they've been in in contact with them for years, and that they're and that these aliens have been benevolent and they've been helping us and they've been giving us all this technology and and that and that they're going to be able to give us free energy and we'll be able to live in this, this in this utopian society but we all gotta you know live together and we're gonna have to you know get a, a microchip which is gonna fulfill the MOTB prophecy but then ultimately it's gonna also build up the um, the uh, the impetus to build and and weaponize space to get ready for um, for the coming arrival of the, of the Messiah, which again it's so funny that these devils straight put it in movies, right? That's what Independence uh, Day uh, Part Two was all about, right? Is having the friendly aliens coming to Earth to warn against the uh, bad aliens, right? That were going to come back again, right? But again, it is. What it is, this is part of the devil's witchcraft. This is Obadiah 1 and 6. How are the things of Esau searched out? How it are how are his hidden things sought up? And that ultimately is what uh, all this technology, all these, you know, these um, man-made spacecrafts are, man. They come from all the hidden things that Esau has sought up out of all the, the world, man. All the technologies he's managed to grab his you know, put his hands on before it's been released to the public. All these inventions we always hear about that come out that make, you know, a, a miraculous claim that some college kid has has discovered it or some, you know, startup firm has made it. And then all of a sudden you don't hear about any of that stuff anymore. Or the inventor dies of a sudden, uh, a, a sudden, you know, misfortune upon his ass, right? And then, and then what happens is years later, decades later, you have a, uh, people like Elon Musk or or Jeff Bezos who come out that have all this these groundbreaking technologies and inventions that you know that they had nothing to do with right and that's because they're simply poster children to bring these technologies out right uh, but check this out it may sound straight out of a movie but the Pentagon and a Harvard scientist have collaborated on a new draft report questioning if we're alone in the universe and whether we've already seen evidence of life beyond Earth. Here's Gotti Schwartz. Move over, Chinese spy balloon, or whatever else U.S. fighter jets shot down last month. Tonight, out of Harvard University, a draft paper about mysterious flying objects sounding almost like science fiction. There's a thing. I think it's very likely that we are not the most intelligent civilization that ever existed. Renowned Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb teaming up with the new head of the Pentagon's UFO office dubbed the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office. Together they say that interstellar objects detected in space could be signs of extraterrestrial life and that current sky mapping technology like the James Webb Space Telescope could miss such objects. It could have been... What's this here on his shelf? Oh, I see. Ecclesiasticus 12 and 10. Never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. A mother ship that released some probes in the habitable region around the sun. If we have a visitor to our backyard, we should observe it at first. Professor Loeb now leading the charge to build better arrays of sensors to capture anomalies, but saying for now everything is hypothetical. And his paper is really meant to remind UFO hunters not to forget the laws of physics. Smudges. The reports from military personnel are intriguing and motivate my work right now. I want my instruments to tell me what is really happening. Meanwhile, more videos surfacing showing odd objects have been leaked to documentary UFO filmmaker Jeremy Corbell, who recently released pictures of an orb shape over Mosul and these images showing a cylinder flying over a rock. The Pentagon not commenting on the recent videos, but confirming prior videos released by Corbell had been filmed by service members. As for what they are, definitive explanations remain out of reach. Gotti Schwartz, NBC News. So you see, there he goes, the, uh, the, the uh, birthing of this new of this new deception that Esau is going to bring forth, right? Because you, you got to remember, man, Esau, he has to have all these different deceptions going at the same time to overwhelm the majority of the world. And this is why so many things are happening right now, right? From the 
war, you know, World War Three starting out there in Ukraine to the um, to the draft starting to become a real thing here in the United States to the beginning of the uh, economic collapse to the um, you know the uh, and then what else the the rising unemployment which is going to become a, a big thing fulfilling another prophecy about the grinding ceasing in Babylon you have the floods uh, now starting to flow into the uh, into um, the uh, the deserts over there in the in the Middle East right which is a prophecy uh, written in Isaiah that the Lord would 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 uh, basically make rivers in the in the dry places right uh, you have all these different prophecies going on man uh, and these are all taking place now and this is why these devils they they know that you know what time they're living in right it's just uh, the majority of the world the the, the the sheeple of this world they're the ones over here you know that are that are lost they're the ones here focusing on what you know uh, the Oscars are, are about or the latest you know Kardashian you know cheese man shit is about man see the, but but these leaders of the world these devils that that have rule over us they know what's going on man and why is that well because like i said man uh this scripture right here uh this is revelations um one and seven behold he cometh with oh i'm sorry it's this one revelations 12 and 12 therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil has come down onto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And that's ultimately what's up. This is why we're seeing this whole C-19 pandemic. You got all these things going on. Because again, they know that their, their time's running out, right? They, they hear that countdown buzzer counting down, man. And they're right now trying to make their, they're going to try to make that last, uh, you know, jump shot before the, the buzzer and shit, man, because they see this, man. It is making its way through the stereo ahead of HI2. It's been hit start. You're going to see this. Ladies and gentlemen, I have covered a lot of stuff about all the years. Things about the sun, raw daylight, all the satellite imagery. No. Wind of, of this side making its way through space, hot on the can. It seems like when they pick this up right around frame 160, they cut it out. You're going to see it makes it right out here. Right out to back here. And then they're going to cut it. This is Earth. That is Earth right there. Terra. See? Gone. They clip it. That's what happens. Here it comes into the frame. It actually sneaks in kind of like this right here. And you're going to see it's like a huge wheel. It is insane. Perfectly circular, and it has, it's a cross, couple of circle in the middle. So you see that? So they know. They know that the time's short. They know that the Lord's on his way back, which is why now they're starting to get their armaments ready, their angels ready. You know, they're trying to, you know, get their ducks in a row. And, and, uh, and also, they, you know, they're going to push forward that, that fake invasion agenda, right? But, you know, it's not going to be something that's going to, you know, take the uh, the elect, right? Us who are, who are aware of this are going to know that when they bring out a few craft, they're going to land somewhere in some, you know, remote cities and stuff. And it's only going to be a few of them. And then they're going to be like, oh, these are the aliens. And they're going to bring forth whatever BS agenda. We, we're going to know that crap. And why is that? Well, because it's going to be televised, you know, like crazy. It's going to be, you know, over, it's going to be looped over and over and over again on your mainstream media. You're going to have probably music videos about it. You're going to have all the celebrities coming out, doing all these, you know, exposés. And it's going to be all, you know, it's all going to be a, a bunch of propaganda and, and witchcraft, right? Uh, a sorcery trick of these devils to deceive the entire world. But the thing is, is that's not going to be something that the Lord's going to do. The Lord's not going to have to do that, and, what, and that's explained here. Revelations 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, these are UFOs, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. Right? 
So every eye shall see him, right? So when the Lord comes back, man, it's not going to be some small little ship here with, you know, some cool, you know, little technologies that they'll be able to, you know, do little flips and, and you know, gyrations in the air. No, man, these are going to be huge, bigger than the planet sized ships are going to show up, man, in the father ship, okay? And they're going to ultimately show up and they're going to, you know, show Esau what's up, right? This is where... The world is gonna gonna find out what true power is, and this is where where the world is gonna finally uh, be be taken back into a righteous state, right? All wickedness is ultimately gonna be put out, and these devils who have reigned in, in, in malice and wickedness and and all evil are gonna finally be put down, and and us Israelites, the Negro Latino Native Americans, and all those whose father's lineage goes back to that bloodline, will be set back in our rightful place. Uh, you know, as rulers of the world, along with the Messiah and our King David, right? And the world will, will finally become heaven on earth, right? That for a thousand years after this invasion or the true invasion, right, of, of righteousness, right? The These other nations are going to go into captivity and they're going to have to basically rebuild the world, which they helped to uh, destroy, right? And then after that thousand years... Esau is going to go extinct. The other nations are going to be permitted to go back into their own kingdoms, rule their own people, and serve the Lord righteously through the, the ways of the Lord, right? Through the ways of the Bible. And it's going to be our jobs, the Negro Latino Native Americans, the Israelites, to, to govern the world and make sure that it's ran accordingly, right? So says the Bible. So hopefully this video is edifying, Akim. I just wanted to show this. You know, I know there's a lot of things going on in the world, but I thought I'd talk about these uh, recent, uh, you know, secret spacecraft, right? At least these triangle ones that Esau's uh, been uh, flying around, right? So these aren't the chariots of the Lord. Remember, anything that 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 maneuvers like uh, these, uh, you know, that are basically made out of anything like materialistic, it isn't uh, the chariot of the Lord, man. All the, the, the true chariots of the Lord look like globes of light, right? And they're a lot faster than, than these uh, triangle things. All right, so hope this video was edifying. Okay, until the next time, I want to give all honor and glory and praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rukh, Double honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect. Shalom.